Hey guys, welcome back. This is Thorm, and this is episode 85 of my single player Tivina World. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. So we are going to continue working in this snowy village area. Uh, this is what it's eventually going to become, hopefully, um, in this episode. So I did add in another igloo back there since the last episode, just to add a, another structure into this area. I think it looks okay. I could probably extend these back into the mountain through these back walls. So that's an idea that I had. Um, but yeah, I'm basically experimenting with different things for today because I'm not sure on the theme that I want to go with with this particular village. Um, I did experiment with a few different things that I haven't normally used. So these are the grass path blocks and I've just got a little track set up here and probably using a height change just using these oak slabs. I've also tried a different, uh, some further combinations of the different wood and block types for potential building structure designs. I think this design looks pretty cool. This is the dark oak uh, wood with, I think this is the polished diorite, diorite, what is it called? Polished diorite, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really like that look with the spruce door com combination. So I might go with something like that to start with. Not sure on the complete theme that I want to go with with this particular village. I'm just going to start building and see what happens, I think. So I think that's what we'll do. But first of all, what I wanted to do is create myself a bucket. So let's get three of these. And I want to plant some of these things that I've got. So I've got this from a zombie. A couple of these things I had left over from when I came from my other igloo, which is actually right across there. It's strange that um, in the end, to get back to that portal, it's just right through there. It's not far at all, really. Um, so that's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is get myself some water. So <laughs> let's try and do that, given that this is a snowy area. Uh, let's just do this. Is this going to work? Yeah, that should work. All right. So we've got ourselves some water. Now, we don't want this to freeze over. Freeze over. So I do have, where is it? Some of these, these seed lanterns. So where are we going to put this? I want to create some crop kind of areas. Maybe I'll do it around the igloos. Because I want to create, create a, like a more natural looking area. So maybe we'll just try... In fact, for now, what we could do is... Let's do this. We hide the water back here. Put that away. Get ourselves some dirt. Aha! Now that won't free. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get rid of the snow. Problem when you've got a decent shovel like this, if you try to get the snow, but you end up mining the block as well. Okay, let's put. Uh, what can I put away? I can put that away. Let's put this down. Whoops. Come on. Give me some of these grass blocks. Okay. Alrighty. Now, let's try this out. I totally tilled that soil just there. I didn't want that. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. So this is just going to be a temporary look, but I wanted to see what would it start to look like if I put down, you know, some farming areas amongst different things in here. So what do we have? We've got some carrots. Let's put these down. And I'm just going to make these all mixed up for now. Let's put down potato. Put down some seeds for some wheat. Maybe we'll just start with that. Uh, let's put down a beetroot seed. Why not? There we go. So well, let's see. Let's see what this kind of area looks like. Might create some uh, normal villager-looking farms, or not. Not sure. We'll see how it goes. So let's throw this stuff away. So now I'm starting to accumulate some stuff. I've created another chest here as well, just with some more building-type materials. So this is what we're going to go with. So let's try and build one of these kind of looking buildings first. So what I'm going to need. I like to use. Let's use some of this. Some dark oak. I probably have some on me. Yep, we do. Probably won't need the sea lanterns. Let's put those away. So I want that. Don't need that. What else do I need for this build? I haven't figured out the roof design yet. So I was playing around with a different type of stairs and not sure. I'm not sure which one would look better. The cobblestone or the, uh, the stone brick looking thing. So we might leave that for now. Anyway, let's go with these column combinations. Let's grab ourselves a couple of doors. Now where do we want to build this first building? Maybe we try somewhere back here, perhaps. And let's just start. We have to start somewhere, so where should we build? Maybe here somewhere? <laughs> Is that too far back? I'm not sure. I want to create a, a number of buildings in here, so let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Let's build up, and let's create a simple door-looking area first. 
you've all seen me do something like this before. And let's go with that other window looking design first. Let's see what that looks like. So we had, what did we have for that? I think we had a spruce fence here. And then another one of these on top. Something like that. So probably, yeah, something like this. How does that look? Is that okay? Hmm. Not hit. Uh, maybe we'll make it another one like this. Let's try like this. Whoops, not like that. So I'm just going to experiment here. I have no idea if this is going to turn out okay or if I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, but yeah, I think that width looks a little bit better than it did with just having one window area like that. So that doesn't look so bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on different walls and different structures here. Let's muck around and see what looks okay. Maybe I'll do some combinations like this and figure out how wide I want these walls. So anyway, I'm going to muck around with this off camera because there's going to be a lot of trial and error, I'm going to guess. <laughs> and um, I don't want to bore you with all those details. So I'm going to come back once I've figured out what this kind of house design is going to potentially look like. So I've been trying out a few different things here and I think this is the kind of look that I'm going to go with. And I've just been switching out using different uh, like fences for parts of the windows or using some of this polished diorite stuff. But uh, this is the kind of look I've currently settled on. It's not obviously a complete house yet, but uh, you can get a feel for what it's going to look like. I've got um, spruce stairs for most of the, the roofing there. And I've also got uh, the stone, um, stone brick uh, edgings for the, the roof there as well. So I'm going to tidy up this a little bit, but something I just thought of is something that I've seen others do, but I've never done, is have some kind of overhang with a light. And I thought that could be pretty interesting. I've never tried that myself, so that's what we're going to give a go here in the middle. So I kind of figured um, I'm not going to go any higher. I could make this really wide if I wanted to, but I think I'll take out a couple of blocks here to start bringing this down uh, for the other side of the roof. But first of all, Let's try and build something that I've never tried before and I'm going to show you guys my failures as we go through this. And what am I going to need? I'm probably going to need some different supplies here. So let's just do that. Let's grab ourselves some stone brick slabs. And hopefully I've still got some lying around here. What do we have? In fact, I don't really... I've only got one block. That's not going to be good enough. I need some stone. And I don't have any... Do I have any in here? Crack stone. All right, so I have to do some mining. So I'm going to come back once I've done a bit of mining. Oh, by the way, there is a little a little cave down system just down in here. This is where I've been getting some of my supplies. I've got some of this extra diorite here around here as well. So I'm going to grab myself some stone <laughs> and then we'll finish off uh, this particular house. So I have myself some stone bricks and what we're going to try here is come out, and have some kind of dangling light system. So I've got a combination of blocks here. And I'll have to go out one more. So what if we did something like this? Let's go down here. I've made myself some dark oak fences here. We're going to dangle a light off here. And I'm just going to try it with a sea lantern first. And if this doesn't look okay, we could probably use uh, the um, glowstone stuff. So now I did create a whole lot more of these wooden trapdoors. We'll probably put these around it. Now I should be able to put it out. No, I can't put it there. Hmm. Can I? Oh, I can put it there. <laughs> Okay. Okay, why can't I fold it? There we go. Let's get rid of that. Put one on the bottom and one on the side. Up there. <laughs> there we go. And let's take this down. Hopefully I can jump up to do this other side. Can I get it? There we go. Perfect. So, what do we think? <laughs> one dangling light system thing. That doesn't look so bad or so out of place, I don't think. I'll probably have to extend along the middle of the roof here. Maybe that will make it look a bit better. It kind of looks like it sticks out at the moment, so we have to get up here to do that. So let's just climb up here. And what we'll probably do is have something like this. Maybe run this along the middle of the roof. That could make it look like a nice border as well, given that we've got the edge down this other end. Maybe this could look okay. So this is going up too high, so I can get rid of that. And that one. And I could maybe even do the same on this other side. Not sure. But anyway, you can get a, a feel for 
what I'm going with here. So what I could probably do is start to taper this down over here. So this is where the roof will start to go down, which means this has gone up too high. And where's this? So this is the other side of the roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to work on this and hopefully, hopefully when it's uh, mostly complete here, um, it doesn't look so bad. So I'm going to work on this. And once I've finished basically replicating this look on all sides, I'll show you guys the end product. So I'm pretty much done now guys, and I'm just waiting for it to get dark to show you guys what it looks like at night time. This is the first time I'll be looking at it at night time as well, so here we go. <laughs> uh, it looks the same, but uh, there you go, you can see the lights kind of illuminating parts of the building on the outside here. I think it looks okay, and I like the dimension, it's kind of small, nice and uh, petite I guess. And uh, yeah, I think it looks okay. I'm just going to put in a bit of a path area out the front here, which I might experiment with, just to see what this looks like. But uh, I do like the color combinations. It's kind of a brown theme, but that's okay. We've got brown trees everywhere, so I think the look does suit this area. And just on the inside, I've just put in jungle wood uh, for the flooring for the moment, because I did bring over some jungle wood, so I figured I sh should put it to good use. I've probably got some options for lighting up in here, uh, particularly in the roof area. I could even make this two stories potentially, um, it would be space for it, but I'm not sure. But uh, there you go, that's the, the outside of it anyway, I'll work on the inside at some later point. But uh, I think that looks okay, if we come back and see what it looks like from a bit of a distance, and hopefully this blends into the area okay, I kind of saw some mobs down here somewhere, where were they? Just an enderman, okay, alright, the well, coast is clear, horse is still safe. So, there you go, kind of... Yeah, I mean, the, where the door is, it'd be nice if the door was a lighter colour. I wonder if it would look okay just with a normal looking door. Maybe we should just quickly try that. Should we try that? Let's see if this makes it look any better, just using an oak door rather than a spruce door. Let's see what this goes. Does that look any better? What do you guys think? That might actually look better. I'm not sure though. But uh, yeah, I do like the, the overhangs, uh, the lighting, it's just something different. I haven't really tried a, a style like this before. I know many people have been building with this kind of style for a long time. I've never really tried it myself. This is the first time uh, building a particular building like this, and I think it looks good. I could probably work on some pathings, or pathways rather, on the sides here, and that could look nice with the light shining down on top of it as well. There you going, zombies, you're coming in to have a bit of a house party. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think that looks okay. So I worked on this area a little bit more, and I've created this little pen area here, and I think we should start bringing over some animals, uh, some pigs, some sheep, that kind of stuff. So, And I also want some walls. I haven't really had uh, any walls used in this game for a very long time. All the walls that I do have are all bugged out in this game. So what we should probably do, let's see if we can bring over some sheep first. Uh, that sheep's going to get away. <laughs> yeah, all right, come on, sheep. This should be a quick way to transport you. Hopefully he stays on. Yep, all good so far. And let's see if we can do... Let's try and be crafty and let's do this. If I jump... Can I jump over this? And see if... Oh, look at that. That's called rounding up your sheep like a pro. <laughs> okay, and I can close this, get on this guy, and get out. Ah, there we go, perfect. So I know it's a pretty small pen. I'll probably bring over and create some larger pens, but you get the idea. I want to create little sections. I'm not going to be build each house in here uh, like we did with this one. I'll probably add a few houses every now and then and uh, just show you guys uh, as I make some progress. But I won't build everything step by step because that will just take way too long. <laughs> so let's try and do some more exploring. Let's try and find ourselves some walls. Got some pigs down here, I think. Do I see pigs? No. The red mushrooms, some flowers. Uh, got some more sheep in here, okay, no worries. Let's try and find ourselves some wolves, some polar bears. In fact, I don't even know if polar bears can spawn in these kind of biomes, or is it only in the plains? It might be just the plains. In fact, something else I want to know is these little fern looking things, can you grow these using bone meal? Or not? I'm not sure. I should add some of those around my little village here as well. We haven't found any wolves. That's what we're mainly looking for here. But I'm also going through in a diagonal so I can kind of show you guys where the portal is to get your bearings for where this village is in my world. Uh, there's another sheep there. Okay, alrighty. Let's get up over here. If I can jump up here. <laughs> yep. Okay, alrighty. 
So my igloo that I first started with is just over here somewhere, I think. Uh, <laughs> or is it just over here? It's here somewhere. Trust me, it really is. If I see mobs and stuff around, I know I'm getting close. I've been in this area. Ah, here we go. Can't miss that big tree. So this is where we had our starting igloo. So it's not very far, really. It's kind of in a diagonal. Maybe we should plant these kind of uh, spruce trees as well down uh, in this amongst that village. That could be interesting. No wolves though, that's what we're really after. So I'm going to keep hunting. Hopefully we can find ourselves some wolves in here somewhere. And then I can bring them back to our new village. Found one, but it's only one. <laughs> it's got to be more. Uh, can I lead you? It's going to work. Let's try this. How do you lead? Ooh, this is interesting. I thought you could lead wild dogs, wild wolves. No? I have to tame you, do I? Really? This can't be tr Really? You can't? Let's try go lower. No, I really can't lead you. Interesting. Uh, well, I've got nothing to tame you. <laughs> I have to go back and bring over some rotten, fr uh, rotten flesh or something to try and tame you. Where's my horse gone? Where is my skeleton horse? There it is down here. Anyway, so this is not far from the village though, so... Okay, I know there's one wolf here at least. I have to try and find some more. Well, I still haven't found my wolves, but I'm finding pretty much every other animal besides the wolf. So, look at this. We've got some pigs, we've got some sheep, now I've got some cows. And I think I've got one egg, so we've got sheep, uh, the uh, chickens around as well. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to put these guys. I'm going to let you guys roam freely for the moment. Enjoy your freedom. <laughs> I have to take this lead off somehow. There we go, there's one. There's two. So, yeah, still no wolves. So, let's... Let's see if we can go get that one wolf at least that we did see. So I should have, there we go, some rotten flesh. So we'll tame them and we'll bring them over this way. But for now, we've got, starting off our premise here for our village, we've got some uh, pigs, we've got some cows, we've got the, basically the essentials. We've got the first building, got some food supplies, got some crops on the go. Just need some villages, which we'll add towards the end because I'm not sure how I'm going to keep them alive. Uh, given this is a nice open area, Every mob will come and hunt these guys down if I let them, so I have to think about that. I'll probably have to um, segment them off inside a particular building or something. So I found myself a couple of these wolves, and I've just tamed them, so let's try and make them sit because I'm afraid they're going to eat all the wildlife around me. So let's just make ourselves a quick makeshift little pen here for these guys. Keep them nice and safe, and to more importantly, keep them away from others. So let's, and let's make it a little bit bigger. Just had to make myself some more fences because I'm chewing through the fences at the moment. So let's just do a very quick, very nasty design like this. And here we go. Let's put these guys in here. Now, are you going to follow me? I hope so. Come on. In fact, I just ate that. <laughs> come on, come this way. Are you going to stand up? Let's see if these guys will come in here or not. It's always a hit and miss with dogs, so for wolves, whether or not they're going to follow you. Sometimes they'll just teleport to you out of nowhere. See, one of these guys has come in. Yeah, you can sit. Now, yeah, what about you? What are you doing? Come on, come this way. Uh, okay, let's try and make you come in this way. Here we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to go through. Okay, can I walk in through here? Come on, walk through. It's safe. Before we get slaughtered by mobs. What's this guy doing? Here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. No, don't go out. Sit. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's close these up. Are we safe in here? I think we are. Let's see if these guys will breed or not. Are they going to breed? Yes, we do. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. We've got our little family started here. We also have... I've bred up uh, one of the sheep, one of the cows and uh, one of the pigs as well. So but at the moment I've spread them out. So over here is where I've got the cows and we've, I've left the, the sheep and pigs together at the moment. Hang on. These are mine. Why do they teleport? Oh, I didn't make them sit. Oh, damn it. Um, okay. You're going to have to attack these guys. Might as well make you useful. All right, so come on, come back here. Come back to your pen. My goodness, that was uh, interesting. You can tell I haven't used the wolf for a while because I've completely forgotten the mechanics, obviously. 
Come on, guys. If you guys can uh, come back to your empty pen here. Got one. How many do we have in here? We've got one in here. All right. Come on, come over here. Come on, little guy. Probably can't make this guy walk or do anything. I don't think he's tamed by me. Are you inside or not? Almost shot you with an arrow. Come, wolf. Here we go. I should name these guys. What should I name them? You gonna come in here or not? Over this way. I can't lead you, so I have to, what, push you? That's gonna be, uh, tedious. Uh, how about this? Let's try this old trick again. You gonna come through or not? Where is he? There he is. Now stay. Stay. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> now let's see this time whether or not they're gonna stay in here or not. Uh, I'm not sure. Can you... Nah, I didn't think you could breed again. So you are sitting. Okay, you are sitting. You are sitting. You are not because I can't make you sit. So, I, oh, I can make you sit. Well, that's interesting. And you're kind of like half stuck in the fence there. Let's see if I can do this without killing you. Can I push you this way? There we go. Alright, so, moment of the truth. Whether or not these guys are still here when I come back in the next episode, you can be the judge. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys liked this episode. It had a mixture of things in it, really. A bit of building, a bit of exploring. And a bit of me failing at trying to uh, tame some wolves. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys liked the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, thanks guys. Cheers.